Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. In this video we're going to be finishing up our Drawing Upside Down series and we're going to go ahead and just add the final details to it. If you want to follow along with traditional materials check out part one in this series where I show you a list of the charcoal pencils and charcoal tools that I would use if I were doing this traditionally. And the app that I'm going to be using is Infinite Painter for Android. And <clears throat> I like to use this app because it has a lot of um, materials that uh, mimic um, traditional materials. So it has a lot of pencils and pens and, and things like that that mimic traditional materials. So here I'm working on the final details of the hat and um, the hair and uh, the feathers here. I'm just trying to get kind of a suggestion of the detail on the feathers on the hat. And you don't have to get completely all the details because it's partially in shadow anyway, but you just kind of want a suggestion of the texture of the feathers and sort of a suggestion of the pearls or um, whatever the berries, whatever it's supposed to be, those little round uh, balls that are in the hat. They, they look kind of like a, they're either a berry or a pearl. But anyway, you want to suggest that little round shape. And so that's what I'm doing here, just kind of drawing some round shapes and then I will soften the edges because we don't want any hard edges because then that just makes it look like it's drawn on and not um, three-dimensional and we're trying to get sort of a, a three-dimensional realistic uh, portrait look here and I'm using the smudge tool to go ahead and smudge around the the little pearls and um, the feathers and just kind of get a get a, a textural look to the hat there and also I'm working a little bit on the background on the top of the hat we want to be able to see kind of the edge of the hat so I'm leaving the background not completely dark as it is in the photo because I want to go ahead and just kind of show the edge of the hat here and then I'm working a little bit more on smoothing out her cheek and trying to show the shadow that's on her cheek because that's what gives it the rounded look and the rounded form and so I need to just kind of <clears throat> work on that a little bit and <clears throat> you just kind of see what you need to do what's left um, to do in this painting but still still don't turn it around not yet Let's just um, keep working a little bit more on the details and the final look of it and just um, keeping everything still looking abstract. And so <clears throat> that's what I'm doing, working on uh, <clears throat> the hat, trying to get all these, these little tiny details. We're starting to get, or we are actually into the detail work now. And you can, if you want to add a highlight, you follow along traditionally with your um, traditional materials, you can use the white charcoal pencil. And that will get some of the final highlights and it'll also be easier to draw the little pearls and um, things that are on her hat there. And so here I'm just kind of uh, working on the brim of the hat there, trying to smooth it out with some white and just try to get I'm not using pure white I'm using kind of a grayed look because we don't want a, a great big um, white color we we just want kind of a subtle highlight there and then here <clears throat> we're going to flip it around we're at the point where we can flip it around now and we need to see what um, the final the the original picture looked like and what the final picture that we've drawn and as you can see it's pretty close I mean there's some things I need to work on and I need to get uh, 
some of the shape of her mouth a little bit better and again the teeth are kind of hard to to deal with but as you can see you get pretty close and it just helps draw your it helps you to uh, make your drawing skills a little bit better because you're not um you're not using preconceived notions about what you're looking at so um, I would recommend doing this a lot with all kinds of different subjects. Uh, it just helps you uh, make your skills sharper and better. And, and plus, it's a lot of fun to try to do it this way. And so here I'm just kind of uh, looking through some of the charcoal, uh, the chalk categories, and that's where the charcoals and the pastels are. And I want to smooth um, her face just a little bit, kind of uh, smooth the chin and work on the the shadows that go under the eyes just a little bit kind of smooth that out a little bit more just doing some of the final details uh, trying to make it a little bit more accurate and a little bit closer to the the reference and uh, <clears throat> we're just doing the final detail work here and if you want to you can flip it back upside down again if you uh, think that you want to try to get more accurate details but here i'm just kind of working on the teeth trying to get the lip and the uh, under the nose there there's a little bit of a shadow and it's kind of a tricky uh spot to get there um under the nose and and her upper lip because the upper lips getting hit with a lot of light there so it's kind of hard to get that drawn and to also not let the teeth become a distraction so i'm really sort of working on it trying to get that a little bit better and <clears throat> from here on out it just kind of becomes like an ordinary portrait uh, that you're trying to get and just trying to get the final likenesses and you just do little bitty details from here on out anything that you do is going to affect your uh, painting so you have to kind of do the little bitty details on trying to get the edge of her uh, top lip and also her teeth there and it's kind of a a um, unclear uh, edge there because you can see the edge of her mouth but also a little bit of the other side of her face so it's kind of a tricky thing here and i'm trying to get her teeth to be in shadow but not look like they're decayed and that's also a tricky thing and make sure that you get the little shadows that um go at the corner of her mouth and i'm stretching that out just a little bit more trying to uh, get her cheek there and and uh, that comes onto the nose and there's a little bit of a triangle that comes there and again you got to work on the teeth because you can't make them let look decayed so i'm just kind of trying to get them um <clears throat> in the right shape and you don't want them real bright white either you want them to be kind of a, a lighter gray but you don't want them to be bright white because that will really detract from your painting because people's teeth are not real bright white unless that's a toothpaste commercial otherwise they're just not there's shadow and there's uh, they just don't um, show up that white and so i'm just kind of working on it trying to get them more of a shadowed color get the edge of the mouth there it's not a hundred percent and if i was doing this as a commission i'd probably keep working on it a little bit more trying to get it just a little bit better um a little bit more detail but there comes a point when you really gotta just stop because if you don't you'll like mess up the whole thing <laughs> and i know because i've done this so you just kind of do little tiny tweaks and don't do a whole lot 
of anything because you're getting really close to the final look and you don't want to just mess the whole thing up so that's what I'm doing is just tiny little tweaks here and there a little highlight here a little um, shadow on the corner of her mouth just a little bit of a highlight on the teeth just a little bit of a highlight on the face and then just step back and look at it and this is if you're following traditionally you step back from your easel if you're doing this digitally you can just zoom in and so here i'm just trying to uh, do the final touches get the final look on her chin get the final look on her cheek on the other side and <clears throat> do a little bit more touches on her hair maybe and um, do some individual strands work on the hat just a little bit more darken it a little more at the top work on the um feathers and the little pearls and the things at the top just do, doing a little bit more detail but not a lot just trying to get kind of the final thing and and then here i went ahead and signed it that doesn't mean that i'm completely through as you know <clears throat> but I went ahead and worked a little bit more on the hat and and things like that and tweaked the the feathers just a little bit more tweaked the mouth just a little bit more <clears throat> again as I said it's um not perfect but we're getting there we're getting closer so that's kind of what i did was just worked a little bit more on the cheek there and and brought out a little bit more of a highlight on the top lip just to kind of uh, make it look not so uh, drawn on just trying to give it more of a rounded look on her uh, top and bottom lips there and anything else that i could see to work on a little bit more under her nose the shadows and and a little bit more maybe the shape of her nose and and just kind of uh, drawing in the little final details and highlights and you can use your uh, white charcoal pencil for this if you're following along traditionally or you can just use um, your eraser and erase out the little highlights but for the fine fine details I like to use the white charcoal pencil and so <clears throat> I'm just kind of looking at it seeing what I need to do seeing the final touches and doing a little bit more on the uh, face uh, just a, a tiny uh, dot here and there trying to get some highlights and this is what you have to do to finish out a portrait just uh, try to do final tiny little touches at the end and don't do anything great big like erase the nose or the mouth or or grab the whole thing and throw it across the room even though you might want to just don't do it if you're at that point go walk away look at it the next day and study it or maybe not even touch it then and then you might do a little bit more to it but just um don't make don't make any drastic uh, decisions here at the end just just little highlights and final touches that's all you want to do here at the end on your portrait and so that's what I'm doing and looking back at it zooming in and out uh, just trying to get the final touches there again I'm working a little bit on the mouth and then I decide to leave it alone just leave it alone walk away and call it done so this is the end of my drawing upside down series and i hope that it helped you sharpen your drawing skills and also have a little bit of fun so thanks everybody for watching thank you so much for your support if you have any questions or suggestions about what you would like to see leave them in the comments down below and hit the subscribe button to see what i'm going to do next and I will catch you later.